guys. So, Mariah Carey is now a part of the weight loss community. Um, I'm addressing this because Mariah Carey is actually one of my favorite singers. She was more of my favorite singer back in back in the day. I'll say the 90s, even the mid 2000s. I can't get with the whole um, diva antic thing. It's annoying. But <clears throat> as far as her music, that's undeniably something that I've always admired about her. And she actually taught me how to write music. So anyway, back to the subject at hand. She got the gastric sleeve surgery. Just like I got the gastric sleeve surgery. Now, I will say I have two opinions on this. One, a part of me wants to say... Well, you are a millionaire. Why don't you have a personal trainer? Um, why don't you have the cooks that can help you do this thing? You know. But on the flip side, she is a celebrity. She is a millionaire, and she's going to have a lot of people giving into what she wants. So she can essentially hire somebody to cook her healthy food or essentially hire somebody as a personal trainer if she's not up to doing it she's not going to do it and by her having that power well you know whatever um but that's the whole thing with gastric sleeve or any weight loss surgery you have to be willing to put that effort for uh first you know you have to have that effort of i am going to start eating healthy otherwise you're just going to slowly creep back into the repetitive thing like as for me the lowest I got to was 210 pounds right now I am at 238 okay but I when I got pregnant I shot up to 275 but even when I had the baby I went down to I think I, the lowest I got to was 246 like rapidly after my pregnancy but I'm not drinking protein shakes um obviously I've lost my hair because I was completely just vitamins I can get them from food it doesn't work that way you don't have the same stomach anymore so anyway of course she's educated and well versed on this subject I'm sure they weren't just going to give her the surgery you know or whatnot but um on the flip side I am happy for her very much so because over the years Mariah Carey has put on a lot of weight now the thing is this I'm not saying I know for a fact but I read Wendy Williams book um, Wendy's got the heat, I think about two years ago. And Wendy was very upfront about her liposuction. And she said that, you know, the thing about getting liposuction is wherever they suck the fat out, the fat doesn't come back right there. I don't know if that's 100% true, but this is what Wendy Williams said in her book. Um, Mariah Carey had twins. And, you know, a couple months later, she had a flat stomach. Okay, well... <laughs> I'm sorry if you've had twins your stomach was that big I just don't see it going back you know without any kind of assistance but then I was looking at Mariah Carey's body and seeing how her when she would put on weight where it would distribute and it would distribute to me in weird places like you notice Mariah Carey's neck is starting to get thicker or her cheeks are starting to get thinner she's put on weight before but it just didn't seem like these uh places in her body carried the weight in those places that well but um or there at all so I kind of was thinking to myself I wonder if she would ever consider the gastric sleeve you know it's one thing if you're comfortable in your body you know if you you're a celebrity and comfortable in your body or you're a well-known person whatever that's fine but I just wondered how come she never considered it before maybe she didn't think of it before but um the whole point in this video is it's not an end-all cure-all. You still have to do work. I'm not 335 pounds anymore. But I'm not, I'm still considered morbidly obese, you know, because people will make videos on here that says the gastric sleeve failed me. No, the only way the gastric sleeve could fail you is if the doctor messed up and did something wrong, <laughs> you know, or, uh, or even sometimes you have the best doctor do this surgery and something goes wrong just because it's something with your body and your body's like, hold on, what are you, what is, what, what's going on? And it goes out of whack. But for the most part, can I say that I fully failed the gastric sleeve? No, because it's still a journey. As long as I'm still alive and I'm still trying to get my weight under control, fine. I'm just glad I'm not 330 pounds anymore, but I'm still overweight. So it's still a battle that I have to continue to try to fight and win every day. So 
anybody getting this surgery, don't go into it thinking that I'm going to be skinny. Even if you got the full surgery, which uh, the ruin why, which normally people do get very thin, people gain weight back from that too. So you still have to know what you're doing, know what you're getting yourself into, and be willing to adapt to this change. I am proof of that person still trying to lose more weight from gastric sleeve, but that falls into my lap. So that's just something to think about. Um, you know, congratulations to Mariah Carey. I hope that she has a very healthy rest of her life because that's what it's all about. It's not about the looks. For whatever reason she wanted to do it, I'm just wishing her a happy health. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you know anybody that is considering weight loss surgery, feel free to share it with them. I'd, I'd really appreciate any kind of feedback down below. See you later.